be like if you already are pretty good at skating, you can kind of look at these lines and you, you can see, you can almost already tell like what I'm, what I'm going to explain. And I say that because uh, where, are the, where all these lines cross is basically your, your popping, your popping places, I guess you could say. I don't know if that looks confusing or not, but I guess to understand anything, uh, you want to break down, break things down into pieces, simplify it. I can I can point at certain spots and I can tell you the tricks that are going to be done for your foot placement. So like, if I, I'm goofy footed, so if I point at this X here, I can tell you that th these tricks. My back foot is going gonna, is gonna to try to press the board exactly at that spot right there. It's going to be a backside big spin or a backside flip. If I point here, it's going to be a backside heel, uh, a varial heel, um, a hard flip would be right there, and a front side flip. A kick flip, it's going to be right in the center. In here these little markings here which is right at the right where your groove is that's how you do pressure flips you just have to dig your toe I guess the next thing you want to do from your bushings all the way to your shoulders that everything is level and square to the earth <laughs> so if I turn around and you, and, you, and you look at the way I three flip my trucks are perfectly level and my shoulders will be level as well. You can even get your friends to help you out or you trying it and you can see what you're doing wrong. And see whether or not you're going off to the side or you're turning too much before you do it. Yeah, being very level is important for every trick. Even if you're doing uh, a front side flip, or a backside big spin, don't turn. Stay perfectly straight. Like I'll do a backside big spin. And I won't, I won't turn when I do it. I'll try to stay, no trucks moving. Everything is perfectly balanced. Now this is like I suck. <laughs> the three flip, yeah. Yeah, you're basically just pinpointing where your feet are gonna be. Just from this corner, and then you want to move right to here. You don't want, you don't need to go up here for your three flip. Not if you watch people in slow motion do a three flip, their foot doesn't it doesn't flick out, out right here. It flicks on this groove here. That's what this groove is for. You have this one for kick flips, so your kick flip's going to be out here and it's going to kick up there. But your three flips will actually kick right here. Like I was growing up and you're struggling with trying to get the three flip to come all the way around one thing that you can do is instead of doing what I said and having your foot all the way up your front foot all the way up towards the top bring it down a little bit more the farther you have your foot down the more the board's going to spin around the further you have it up the slower your board is going to spin But that's, it's hard to say that because when you, when you do three flips for so long, you can almost put your feet anywhere to three flip. And it's mainly because of that, the spring pressure you start to end up feeling in the board.
it's all when you three flip it's all toes uh, you're gonna jump on the board and you want to be on your toes and kind of light on your feet and you want to be able to basically imagine that this board is kind of like a ruler on the end of a desk and you push it down and it flings up you kind of want to imagine the board like that except the wheels are the obviously the edge of the desk so where your feet are going to be is your feet are going to be positioned at this point and the outer edge of the board just the outer edge don't hang your foot off try not to do that try to keep your toes on the board and stay springy now this foot your front foot you're gonna have you're gonna be standing right with this this crosses here that's where your foot's gonna be the center of your toes and then your pinky is gonna point at that bolt and then when you're ready to flick your pinky which is my pinky right at this line it's gonna fly out right where this little hump is right here right at the very tip of that hump is where your pinky is gonna flick and it's a light flick it's not some crazy like oh my god I got a tray flip I gotta get it all the way around flick it's just a light tap your back toes are gonna just ride along the edge of this board so right there so you're gonna be on the board you're gonna be all on your toes you're gonna be able to feel a little bit of that that springiness in the back here and you're gonna to want to keep a very even tension try to even it out as possible from between like if this was a center you will try to create uh, basically like an equilibrium on the board but as you come down you're gonna feel the springiness on your back foot you're jumping mostly on your right foot but when you come down you give it a spring you can see the board I don't know if you can see it flexing or not but when I come down there should be a little bit of spring there and you should be so gripped on the board that you're, you should be able to try to push your feet to the sides and you shouldn't be able to really move them your grip tape should should hold you like that you come down, you give it that little bit of a spring, you jump, and simultaneously, you know, maybe two milliseconds apart, this foot is gonna come down, and your pinky is gonna follow that line right to the center of this hump. So your foot comes down, you're gonna wanna give it a little bit of kick to the side, just a little bit, not a lot. You don't need that much, just enough to get the board to come around. That's all. So, spring pressure, you flick out with your pinky. Like that easy once you start to get this trick it doesn't take a, it doesn't require a lot of effort that's why I see people just sticking their foot out there to catch it you can become you know so good at it that when you do flick it out and you want to catch it you can have your foot here about right here on the board and just you stick your foot out you're so used to seeing it you wait for it to come around it's just gonna be like right here you're gonna be like whoop, and then you're gonna lay it down if you're having problems landing back on the board there's a few things that you're probably doing wrong you know the best thing you can do is get somebody to record you in slow motion to see that to see what you're doing wrong then you can correct yourself. What I could tell you, like if you don't have a friend to give you slow-mo, what I could tell you that you're probably doing wrong is you're probably trying so hard to land back on the board that your trucks are turning before you pop the tray. You'll be 
riding straight for a little bit, but then you're gonna be so focused on getting that getting that tray flip that you're gonna do something like this and, and jump to the side. You don't wanna jump off to the side and you don't want your trucks to move at all before you do the trick. Just perfectly level and perfectly straight. Everything's just straight. It goes for just about every trick. Don't turn into your tricks. Unless it's a fakey pull cap. If it's a fakey pull cap, you can turn into that. Some people, when they're learning tray flips, they have a hard time getting their back foot back on the board, or they have a problem uh, following the board with their front foot. You can learn to follow the board with your front foot by popping and then immediately putting your foot down. So you can go like this. You can just kind of watch it. Stick your foot out there, watch the board, and learn the way it flips around and just get comfortable with that. Don't turn into your tricks. Everybody has a different, uh, a different type of like body, I guess you could say. I mean, we're all pretty much very similar, but you know, some people are stronger than others. So I would have to say that, you know, for other people, you want to have weight in different areas because of your strength. So it's really something that, you know, your yourself is to a certain extent is going to have to get comfortable to. You can see the way my body is, you know, from the back, see how I'm bending down where I am at, like position wise. I try to stay as straight up and down as I possibly can. Maybe you can do little tricks to help you like visualize yourself sitting on your knee, I mean, sitting on your heel when you when you bend down. Um. Man, that was first try. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, you get so comfortable with three flips, you can pretty much, you just do them anywhere. Do them however you want. Hell yeah. Ha, ha, ha.